Hey y'all, Justin with Kayak Catfish. Well, I'm back out on the river this morning and the plan is to kind of do what I have been doing because it has been really successful lately. So I've kind of just taken this stretch of river and I've been drifting sections of it. A couple videos ago, I, I drifted down, got down to this area here and stuck a big fish. And the next trip I come out, I started here to work my way downstream. And at the beginning of the trip there, I stuck another big fish. So I thought, you know what? I'm coming back out here today. I'm gonna try to do it a third time. So I'm gonna start right here, kind of in this general area where I got those other two big fish. I'm gonna spot lock and spend a little time here and see what happens. Now, if I get a big fish, awesome. Hey, day's made, right? But if I don't, then I'm gonna work my way down river and just kind of take this, take this section of river. I've just breaking it into sections. You know, that's one of the one of the most effective ways that I have found to fish during the spawn is just take these main channel ledges and cover water. Either drift when I have current or troll when I don't, and just cover water. So Gonna, again, spend time right here, try to get that big one, and if not, move on down and just cover some more water and run into some fish. One thing about it, during the spawn right now, you know, summer months, water temps are warm. Even if you don't get big fish, you're probably gonna catch some fish just because the metabolism's high due to the time of year, water temps, and all that. So enough of me flapping my gums. Let's get some baits on here, drop them down, and see what we can catch. I've got the first fish on a rod up here, he's just a swimming. He's swimming with that bait, let's reel him in. He don't, he may not know he's hooked, he knows he's hooked now. He knows he's hooked now, folks. I'm still spot locked right here in front of this creek. This is kind of the area here where I stuck them big fish on my last two catfishing trips. And so I'm just gonna put in a little time here before I get on the move just to see, cause we're right here at first light. That sun's peeking up over the tree line here. 719 right now. I've had baits in for 20 minutes or so. And this is gonna be just a small blue, little tiny thing. And there, whatever was splashing right there is bigger than this fish. That and there come up just to laugh at this fish, just to flip him a bird or something, say, ha ha, you got caught, sucker. Let's get hold of this thing. All right, guys, there he is. He says, he says, Justin, turn this way. Get me in the light. Get my good side. He might get an acting job out of this. Some, somebody will call him up and he'll be an extra in The Walking Dead or something. But my rig here, y'all, is what I've been running lately. This is a Carolina rig. That's an egg sinker above a leader down to a circle hook with a piece of cut bait. And then below that, let me get this thing all situated here. That fish right there got it all messed up. But below that circle hook, you can see I've got a fly. That's a bucktail teaser there. A uh, little, well, I call them stinger flies. My friend Dewey had made me some, and then these here I've, uh, I've got on, on the Amazon there. But just a chunk of cut bait with that little teaser there below it. I'm gonna rehook that. I've got that on all four rods. Skipjack's the only type of bait I have with me today. They're caught fresh last night, but I got a head bait on that rod and then chunks on the others. And lately, my last couple catfishing trips, it's been small baits that's been getting it done. Uh, small chunks like that fish right there ate is what those two really big fish I've caught on recent trips, that's what they've eaten, the small chunks. The head has gotten very little action, but those heads are historically big fish baits for me. I've caught more big catfish on heads of regardless of what type of bait it is but the head section has caught me more big fish than anything so i always want one out but uh, lately it's been the small chunks getting it done so i'm just going to continue to set here in front of this of this creek that comes in right here i'll show you right here on the map on the contour map you can see where that old creek channel flowed in before they flooded this to make the reservoir and i'm right on the bottom edge of the channel right here right where it starts to come up in that creek this area right in here is where i've caught those big fish recently so we're going to put a little bit more time into it um that was the first bite there if i get bit great if not then i don't know another 20 30 minutes here on this spot and i'm going to get on the move not going to have enough current out here this morning 
to drift with so i will troll i'll set my speed somewhere between 0.3 and 0.5 miles an hour and we'll just work our way down this ledge here and just try to try to run into some fish they are somewhere up and down through here there's been enough fish caught on this section of the river my last couple trips i know they're here it's just a matter of getting my baits in front of them i had a little bump right here again and there goes my line just swimming I'm, oh he got it down he got the hook then didn't he let's reel another one in same rod same bait now, i continue to see fish splashing out here i don't know if it's carp or buffalo or something else I, i'll see the splash but it's the fish is gone by the time i glance over i can't ever seem to be looking right where they're splashing at but it's definitely an active morning out here on the surface for whatever those fish are cat bite has been limited thus far this is bite number two here he's mad too oh, i know why he's mad he was about to poop himself right there just go ahead and clean yourself off before you come in the kayak fish we ain't bringing none of that in here good okay i hope you done well listen here through the bait oh no he's still pooping he's still pooping let's get him out of here right quick i thought you was done fish lord you full of it this morning where are my pliers at we gotta get you out of here there we go lordy days get out of here you old nasty thing get down there and go use your bidet that's what everybody needs is a bidet them things will change your life folks all right i'm gonna have to get me another bait on here he either ate that bait or threw it off fish number two y'all nothing nothing big yet but the morning is young this same rod right here just got hit again new bait this time same rod my head bait over there got hit once the other two rods haven't been hit at all and yet this is gonna be the third fish i don't know why it works like that but that happens all the time where one rod will just get hit more than the others i don't know why that is they just maybe it's positioning maybe it's just maybe it's just random coincidence i don't know either way i got me another fish here he ain't gonna be big as nothing but it's another bite another oh he's mad he i said he wasn't gonna be big as nothing and it's it's hurt his feelings this fish that's another one of them here with a little man complex he's he's not happy about what i said he's gonna show me i hear him talking down there he's got he's got stuff to say i'll need subtitles to translate but oh lord he tried to break my thumb he splashed water right up here all over my my telephone fish that's uncalled for now that's uncalled for here i am just trying to make you famous get you on a youtube video that's how you treat me so ungrateful all these fish just ungrateful all right oh no oh, no oh. my gosh he said he had done with me he said he don't need to be on youtube that bad or if he does he'll just go get on one of these other channels god knows everybody's got a youtube channel these days we'll see that fish on somebody else he'll be in somebody else's comment box bad mouthing me like all the rest of the haters <laughs> y'all this is an interesting bite right here i didn't feel it i've just got some weight up there on that same daggone rod that keeps getting hit i wonder if that couldn't be a flathead i'd prefer him take that rod himself because right now there's just a little bit of weight on it and i I know when I go to crank down on him, I'm gonna pull that bait right out of his mouth. I think he may have it now. He may have it now. Let's really mean. I'm curious. I'm really curious as to what this is. I never felt him bite. I just saw my rod tip just kind of wavering. This be real interesting. I've not, I've not got flatheads on this stretch lately. Me and my friend Daniel at the end of that first day i was out here we went live for a couple hours and i hooked one flathead on that live stream and that's been the only of all the fish i've caught 
on this section of the river, just that one flathead. But this sure acted like a flathead bite. It is, it is a flathead bite. I, I mean, it just, a textbook, textbook flathead bite. It's a small one, but don't matter to me. I'm happy to get him. Come here, Flatty. Come show yourself off to the world. I always like catching flatheads. I like the bigger ones even better, but any flathead will do. There you go. Lower this in here, he's busted up. He looks like Rocky Balboa after he's went a few rounds with Apollo Creed. Let's put you this way so we can get you in the light there. Actually show off some colors on you. Looks like you got a scar on your head too. That will not head. All right, Flatty. Go home, go get big for me. We'll do it again someday. All right, guys, well, it's eight o'clock there now. You know, I've just continued to sit right here, spot lock right in front of this creek. I keep getting bit, uh, albeit small fish, but I'm getting action right here. So um, probably just give it a little while longer. I mean, I could, I could start trolling, making my way down river and undoubtedly catch more small fish. But again, those bigger fish that I've caught recently, have been right in here, right in front of this creek. And there's never, in my opinion, there's never a bad time to fish a creek mouth. Fish work in and out there. It's a feeding ground for them. So uh, I'm just gonna put in a little bit more time here. If, if I stop getting bit, then I'll get on the move. But right now I'm pretty content to just get the action that I'm getting. Well, don't look now, but that skipjack head just got eat. Yeah, by gosh, that head bait, it ain't done me right lately but it just got eat right now. This is one of the small, well, actually most of the skipjack I got yesterday evening, most of them were pretty small on the smaller side. But this is a smaller head that, that got eaten. And again, the smaller baits lately have, have been what's been getting hit. Even with the larger fish that I've caught on the last couple trips. No. <laughs> no, this one's got the dang stinger hook. Let me grab this camera. Hey, he actually didn't get the hook in the mouth. The stinger's what got him. He probably come up after the bait and spun on it and turned and got that stinger right there in the gill flap. Oh, oh, splashed me right in the eyeballs, y'all. Splashed me right in the face, man. Enough of that fish. Enough of that. Enough of that. You come on in here. Look where that hook got him, guys. I guarantee you come up and hit that bait and probably felt the resistance and started rolling like they do and rolled right into that stinger hook. That stinger got me another fish, by gosh, that I wouldn't have otherwise got. Yeah, here, blue cat. Just another dinkity doodah size, but you know what? It's another bite. And the spawn, like, you know, typically the month of June here in East Tennessee, we just, bigger fish get harder to come by. Still doable. You still, I still bust some big fish every year during the spawn. But they get harder to come by. But fish like that, you can come out here and have a dang good time. There's that head bait that, that he tried to eat anyway. You can come out here and have a dang good time on fish that size. Fishing the way I do vertical, at least I try to fish like this as much as possible. Fish like that, you can still get a nice bend in the rod. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm 41 feet right now. So I got my baits down there, 38, 39 feet. You can get some nice tug of war action going on, even with fish like that. Oh, right here, the head bait's going down again. Head bait's going down. Oh man, oh man, come on. Let's get a hold of that thing. All right, y'all, well, that's gonna be the second fish here on the head. Oh, oh that rod right there's getting hit too. That one's getting hit too. I'm gonna deal with the one in the hand first. First double of the morning. Yeah, y'all, been just kind of a fish here, fish there, as they work their way up in this ledge or in and out of this creek. But I believe we got us a double on here. I don't think that one's that one over there is not acting very big. What is going on here? Did he get this other 
I got something crazy going on here, y'all. I think them two fish have got wrapped around each other. <laughs> them two fish on my front blinds have swam laps. What a daggone mess, man. That other fish that hit on the other front line must have just took a beeline over to this one. And now I've got them both wrapped up around each other. This will be, I might have to cut my lines and start over on this mess. <laughs> I'm gonna bring them in just like this. Oh, lordy days, lordy days, don't act like that. Showing out, acting a fool. All right, well, here's this little guy. That one hit that rod and apparently swam over here and did a few laps around the other one here. So let's get it going. I got that, I got that rod undone. Now let's, he just will not calm down. This fish right here, he knows he, the longer he acts out, the more, the more YouTube time he's going to get. And, and these fish today, they're all a bunch of divas, you know, they're trying to get TikTok famous. Get out of here, yo fish. Well, that tangle ended up not being as bad as what I thought it'd be. But when you fish with this many lines in a kayak, you always playing with fire. And sometimes when you play with fire, you get burnt. And that was one of them times where things didn't go exactly how I would have liked for them to went. But I landed both of the fish, albeit on the same rod. I'm gonna hook this bait here. We're gonna go in the meat to drop it back down. You can see, but well, you probably can't see because of the lighting. There we go. Let me get that scale off there. That bait is still looking good. It's still bloody in there, pink when I squeeze it. That blood comes out of the meat there. So the mouth of it's tore up. I can't run the hook back through there, but I can stick it on the, through the meat there and drop it down and we might get another fish on it. That other bait on the other setup was gone. Boy, I got my line. Okay, every time I go talk to a camera, I get line tangled around the rod tip. I'm gonna drop this one back down. I'll cut another bait. Actually, no, it's sitting right here. They flung it off. Well, that one right there is looking pretty rough. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch it out anyway. But uh, we'll get that other rod baited up and we'll have all four lines out again. Oh boy, don't look now y'all. But one of these other rods just got hit. <laughs> That's a first. These, these rods back here haven't been messed with all morning the head bait's been hit my other front rod up there has caught the bulk of the fish but these back baits have went untouched until now and this one's finally i may let this fish make the video i've i've caught a couple that i'm just like hey, i'm gonna i'm gonna edit them out probably get some more oh boy he's mad at me I'll probably catch some more. I'm gonna edit out too, just real small fish. But this one here, since he's the first one to hit this rod, I'm gonna make sure to leave this clip in the video. It's your lucky day, fish. You go home and and tell your mama that you picked out the, the right bait. It's like going to the gas station and having all them scratch off ticket options. Most of them are losers, but every once in a while, you pick you out a scratch off ticket and you'll win another free ticket. And that's basically what this fish has done. He, he's got lucky. He's getting real lucky. He don't know how lucky he is. I'm gonna let him go. Some of these people out here take this fish home to eat, probably give themselves cancer in the process as nasty as this water is. But this fish, he's, he's clamped down on my thumb. All right, go down there, fish. Tell tell your mom and daddy when you get home, you're gonna be on a YouTube video. It'll probably get at least 35 views. You're gonna get two extra Instagram followers out of this. We'll see you, fish. Oh boy, he knocked himself out on the kayak on the way out. I heard his head hit. That sounded like it hurt. That bait, oh man, that bait has been down there untouched all morning i've been out here it's it's almost nine o'clock now so the whole time i've been out here these back baits ain't been ain't been messed with it's still look at all that blood coming out of it 
after over two hours soaking down there because nothing's messed with it. I'm going to send it back down. I guarantee you that other bait on the other back rod's in perfect condition too. So we'll see if I can't catch another one on it. Thus far this morning, it's just been small fish, which, uh, you know, when, during the spawn, you get a lot of that. A lot of juvenile fish that that just, you know, not at the point of of going on the nest and stuff. But, you know, every, every year I bust some big fish, got them there on the last couple catfishing trips. It's just, you kind of just got to get lucky. You got to put your time in, keep your baits where the big fish will be and hope that they're there. The male fish, most of the population of them are up on the nest. Not all of them because they don't all go on the nest at the same time. Your females, they've dropped their eggs. They're back out here. They're catchable. So it's just a, again, it's a waiting game. It's it's putting your time in, and the more time you put in, it's just it's a numbers game. It's a numbers game. You put in enough time, you get bit. But uh, I'm probably gonna fish out here another hour, hour and a half. This video with the fish I have caught, and of course my flapping my gums that always eats up camera time. Uh, this video is probably running long. What I think I'm gonna do. It's probably just wrap up the video right here and keep the camera nearby on my chest or something here. And if I do get one that's a good bite, a better quality fish, then we'll just have a bonus fish here at the end of this video. Otherwise, you know, I'll probably sit here and keep catching some more small fish, but this will be an hour long video of small fish if I don't wrap it up soon. So uh, anyway, y'all, if I do get the big one, stay tuned. It's coming. If I didn't, well, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Y'all, we may have another flathead for a bonus fish here. That that rod is just characteristic flathead bite. I'm gonna just crank down a notch and reel him in. I don't know if it's gonna be very big, but it sure did act like a flathead. So for those of you that stuck around, however long this video ended up being, thanks. Thanks for the support. And we may get you another flathead. I hope we do anyway. I hope that's what this is. It is. It is. I knew the way he bit, it just acted like a flathead. Now, granted, it's small. It's another little one like that other one. Heck, it may be the same one as, as I got earlier. I don't know. Comparable size. But I had just a, didn't even feel a bite. Just a little bit of weight there on the rod tip and just, you could just see him just testing it, just testing that bait. Now it's a different flathead. He ain't got them marks on his head that, uh, that his little brother or sister had. What do you think flathead? You wanna, you wanna tell this audience anything? Tell them hit the like and subscribe. Would you do that for me? Thank you, Mr. Flathead. Y'all hit that like and subscribe button. This flathead's going home. I'm gonna stay out here a while. Flathead, go tell them bigger fish down there. I know they some around. Go tell them to bite my lines, would you? Get on out of here, Flathead. How you going?